All right, what's going on, family? What's going on, everybody? This is the one Hoddles. We are back with a new video. It is Friday. Nope, it is Saturday. And that is June 10th. It's been a bloody, bloody week in the cryptocurrency market. And we're going to take a look at some of the causes for what we see in the market as altcoins are bleeding out. And for those who are holding different various cryptocurrencies besides bitcoin may want to pay attention to this so we're just going to get into the weeds here but we're going to simplify to make this quick just looking at the coin market cap and we are checking out the crypto market cap actually let's go to coinmarketcap.com because i don't i don't it's been a while since i checked these in indices for cryptocurrencies see i went to crypto market cap as a coin market cap this is the one where I'm most traditionally used to. So here's a list of all the cryptocurrencies, their market caps, their prices. Um, it's just been a bloody day. I think the overall market today is down 4%. Uh, still a little bit over a trillion dollars. But in case you haven't heard, the news is that Binance and Coinbase, the one, two of the largest, if not the largest cryptocurrency uh, exchanges are being attacked or having lawsuits filed against them by the US SEC as the chair of the US SEC Gary Gensler has been listing uh, various cryptocurrencies that these exchanges have to be securities also they've made it clear about staking protocols that these exchanges are not able to offer that because of the fact that these protocols are considered securities still then there's another serious accusation going towards Binance about commingling of customers funds so we're looking at a lot of things also the stable coin dynamic so there's a lot of cleaning up to do in this market by the SEC from what they're saying if we're going to be even beginning to look at any of those melt-up style bull markets like we've seen in previous cycles in the cryptocurrency market but i just quickly wanted to look at the last 24 hours and we've seen some of these uh these drastic drops in a 24-hour period a lot of it is double digits uh you know just in 24 hours we've seen uh well in the past week we've seen a 27 percent drop in cardano you've seen a 15 percent drop in Dogecoin, Solana is down 26% on the week. Polygon down 32%. Litecoin down 20. These are massive drops in value. I mean, uh, Avalanche is another number 18 by cryptocurrency market cap down 20%. It's almost $11. <clears throat> so this is where what we're looking at right now and the reason that i speak of all these except for bitcoin is because bitcoin is the one cryptocurrency that the us sec has admittedly claimed that it is a commodity and they have not wavered from that whatsoever and that's because of obvious reasons right all right so this is what we're looking at they're saying one trillion dollars in crypto has left the market, right? It sparks a fresh concern for Coinbase. Warning and tanks the price of Bitcoin. So, of course, you know, Bitcoin will, will take it as well. I mean, they, a lot of people still group all of these together. But fundamentally, this does not affect Bitcoin as far as its case as being a store of value, as being decentralized monetary network without a central issuer. And, and, and you know, it's not... Um, and it didn't pass the Howey test like the other cryptocurrencies, which are listed here. Coin Telegram, Binance, uh, Coinbase head to court. So they're going to court, and the SEC labels 62 crypto securities. 60, I'm sorry, 67. 67, my fault. So there's 67 cryptocurrencies that they consider to be securities. I don't know about you guys, but if you got 67 cryptocurrencies that are considered securities, you might as well label 
all of them as securities except for Bitcoin, of course. All of them as securities because there's not too many variations. I mean, I've seen some of the I've seen some of the uh, cryptocurrencies that were listed to be considered securities, um, all the way from the gaming tokens to the def uh, to the DeFi tokens to the uh, metaverse tokens and the smart contract tokens, the Solanas, the Cardanos, the um, Axie Infinities, you name it. Um, from what I remember, last remember seeing, and they may have a list here, but if not, we'll, we'll just keep it moving. We're just going to gloss over some things. Another thing is uh, Binance has recently, I want to say yesterday, announced that they have halted U.S. dollar deposits warns a fiat withdrawal pause as well so if you have a binance account if you're in the u.s and you got that binance.us you might want to get the heck up out of there as they um they're saying that um due to they were forced their hand or their hands are forced to stop dollar deposits and they are considering uh they warn of fiat withdrawal pauses so you don't want your money stuck in uh that trap okay crypto.com suspends u.s institutional exchange service so crypto.com is even uh making some adjustments too to uh what's going on so gary gensler is shaking up the market in a big way and i don't see this being overturned anytime soon because that's not in my opinion that's not the mission that's not i think they're on a mission and that is to clear out the market in its entirety. So, yeah, I don't see a list of those cryptocurrencies, but I do remember they did incorporate various cryptocurrencies. You know, I know you guys like to think they're different flavors. You know, they got the gamer tokens, the DeFi, and the smart contracts. They were various from what I, I've seen. Okay, so let's move over to, uh, let's just get an idea of what we're looking at. Um, quickly, let's, let's look at the Bitcoin dominance, right? Because if these altcoins are getting hit and that, that cloud of regulation is over them, but Bitcoin is excluded from the radar, we should start seeing some type of strength still with Bitcoin, especially the way that those altcoins been hit double digits on the week. And Bitcoin is, you know, roughly probably off about five, you know, four percent or something like that. I don't know. So I'm not going to go back to look, but let's just look at the dominance on the weekly because it's just been a massive week with this shakeup. Uh, so, you, you know, you see originally Bitcoin has, you know, found its lows in Bitcoin dominance and then it just popped up in Bitcoin dominance. And this is all you know, pretty much preceding, preceding the halving event. So you'll see uh, that the Bitcoin dominance has went up leading into that halving event that I, that I believe happened in 2020. Yeah, it was in 2020. And there was a massive dump in 2021. And around this time, you'll see that this is the peak of the cryptocurrency bull market was around actually was around may 2021 and you know you start seeing people get out of bitcoin going into the altcoins or just going out of bitcoin just leaving the market altogether since bitcoin already has a large market cap relative to the other ones just people leave out altogether and that kind of you know that 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 percentage that it takes up of the market cap starts to level off so I would say it's more of that um, around this area here within uh, May of 2021. And now we're getting to 2020, the end of 2022. And then uh, this is where we're in the depths of the bear market back in November. And you start to see a little capitulation of these altcoins or rather you would see just probably more capital inflows into Bitcoin rather than the altcoins which traditionally happens later on in a bull market but since we're still in the what we could consider a bear you know somewhat consolidation the week we see uh bitcoin doing extremely well 
dominance wise heading back up to 50% near 50% dominance and uh, this is a triple bottom so you got you know a triple bottom here uh, let's get that right just draw some quick lines nothing crazy here and here so uh, you can when you break out of a triple bottom and then we got the fundamentals that's actually sparking this from Gary Gensler going commando on cryptocurrencies you you know you you got potentially we could be looking at probably the resistance around here uh bitcoin could be heading towards a 60 percent market dominance okay so this could be from new inflows or it could be from an altcoin capitulation we'll see how news goes later this week but it's been crazy so bitcoin dominance i expect for that to continue to climb in the near in the near term and we'll finish off with the total dominance of the cryptocurrency market cap. I'm sure. Yep. And that, that's hit. Now, I did draw an uptrend that we were looking at on the total cryptocurrency market cap. Um, it was looking nice with a falling wedge. We broke out of that falling wedge, but we ended up getting stuck right here underneath this upward channel and back testing the bottom of this channel, this uh uptrend channel and uh heading back down so this is what we're looking at folks it's about trying to figure out what the next move will be for those who are big altcoin advocates bitcoin seems to have a clear path um i think this is i think they're not really grouped together i think this is a strong a fundamental case for Bitcoin as being decentralized, uh, not having um, any founders or CEOs, and um, therefore it's been labeled as a commodity asset because there's nobody to go after. Okay, and typically it, it, it's seen to be used as money individually, like you could actually do peer to peer transactions, you could go peer to peer online and swap out directly for dollars or. You can make purchases for it directly. Countries have adopted as legal currency as opposed to the the typical case for altcoins has been people hold them in hopes that they'll go up in price so they can sell it on an exchange for back for fiat currency or fiat gains. Um, but this is looking different this time as those exchanges are being hounded. Um, and they're not able to continue listing these coins if the SEC deems them as securities that need to be registered first. All right, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments. That's what I got today. It's been a crazy week, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.